Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shubhim Madayo, again here with another informative video related to the electrical engineering and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the polarity test of the transformer. The polarity test of the transformer can be defined as it is used to identify the relative direction of the induced voltages in the two windings of the transformer. When the transformer primary winding is energized from the AC supply, the flux phi m is set up in the core of the transformer. That links the two windings of the transformer and causes the production of the EMFs in the both windings of the transformer. Polarity test of the transformer can be categorized into the two types. Number one is the subtractive polarity and second is the additive polarity. In the subtractive polarity, the voltmeter which is connected in parallel between the primary and the secondary winding of the transformer, it gives the difference of the two induced EMF E1 minus E2 and hence the voltmeter reading of the voltage is less than the applied voltage. So, this can be called as the subtractive polarity or the transformers uh, are connected with the same polarity. In the case of the additive polarity or the opposite polarity, the voltmeter which is connected in parallel across the primary and the secondary winding of the transformer, it will give us the sum of the two induced volt EMFs, the E1 plus E2 and hence the voltmeter reading value is greater than the applied voltage. So, this can be called as the opposite polarity or the additive polarity. So, now dear viewers, uh, without wasting time, let us do the simulation of the polarity test of the transformer using MATLAB software. So now dear viewers, our first objective is to uh, observe the results of this voltmeter when the transformer uh, windings are connected in the same polarity. So as you can see, this is the diagram of the subtractive polarity or the same polarity. Now in this condition, the voltmeter will give us the difference of these two induced EMF E1 minus E2. Now this these H1 and H2 are the high voltage terminals are marked as the H1 and H2 and the low voltage terminals are designated as the X1 and X2. Now apply the uh, voltage which is the, to the high voltage side and measure the voltmeter reading. Now this voltmeter is connected in between the primary and the secondary winding of the transformer. When the transformer primary winding is energized from the AC supply, the flux phi m is set up in the core of the transformer that links the both winding and causes the uh, cause the production of the induced EMF in the both winding. The E1 which is produced in the first primary winding and E2 is produced in the secondary winding. Now, when the transformer are connected in the same polarity, when H1 is connected with the X1, as you can see, this H1 is connected with X1 and H2 is connected with the X2. Now, when we are connecting the terminals of the transformer as per this diagram, so the voltmeter which is connected in uh, parallel uh, between the primary and the secondary side of the transformer will give us the difference of these two induced EMF means this voltmeter reading will be less than that of the applied voltage. So, uh, let us do the simulation uh, or implement this circuit on the MATLAB software. Go to the MATLAB software, take a new simulating block, okay, now and now we have to go to the power LIB library, okay, and uh, now we have to drag the components. What components we need? We need the AC voltage source, okay, and uh, we need the uh, transformer okay which is a linear transformer okay you can take uh, we need the measurements okay uh, the volt measurement and also you can uh, find out the current okay uh, from the primary side of the transformer which is the high voltage side now select make as two winding transformer so this will be the two winding transformer okay now Uh, also, we need the ground, okay. Also, we need the ground, okay. Now, also, we need the display block, and also, we need the root mean square block, which will, will give us the root mean square value of the 
voltage is okay so now uh, connect this emitter and uh, Now emitter is connected with this block. This will give us the uh, primary current. Okay, and uh, make it almost because of 50 hertz frequency we have. Now we are connecting the negative terminal with the second terminal of the primary winding of the transformer okay now connect the ground okay now we need another uh, display now what is the same polarity same polarity means h1 is connected with the x1 now you can see this one is the h1 and this one is the x1 this is h2 and this is the x2 now when transformer are connected with the same polarity now you can see this h1 is x1 is connected with this h1 now this transformer is connected with the same polarity now this voltmeter would give us the voltage of the input side okay and This will this will be the uh, primary voltage or induced EMF. Okay. And this is a 50 hertz. Now change the parameters. Now make it like uh, 5 e power 3. Okay. 50 hertz frequency. The primary winding is the HV winding. So make it 440 volts. And secondary winding is the LV winding, so make it 220 volts. Now, as per the circuit diagram of the subjective polarity, now connect this voltmeter in between the terminals of the high voltage winding H2 and the low voltage winding uh, X2. Okay, so this would give us the difference of this E1 minus E2. Okay, so so this is the voltmeter now connect this uh, voltmeter this is the h2 terminal of the h, uh, high voltage winding of the transformer and this is the x2 terminal okay now connect this with the x2 now as per diagram you can see we have connected the voltmeter in between the h2 and the x2 terminals of the transformer now this would give us the difference of the two voltages now copy this block okay now this would give us the this voltmeter would give us the difference of the e1 minus e2 okay e1 minus e2 okay so also, we need to measure the uh, E2 on the secondary side of the transformer. So, again, we need another voltmeter. Okay. So, now this voltmeter would give us the uh, voltage or the induced EMF on the secondary side or the E2. Now, this is the secondary voltage e2 okay now connect the voltmeter in parallel across the terminals of the secondary side of the transformer now so this uh, voltmeter will give us the e2 okay and this will give us the primary voltage e1 okay now simulate now you can see this is the voltmeter which is connected in between the h2 terminal and the x2 terminal of the transformer okay so this is giving the difference of the e1 minus e2 so now here 
what is the value of the e1 e1 is the 311.2 volts okay and what is the value of the e2 155.4 okay use the calculator okay now our e1 is 311.2 okay minus our e2 is which is 155.4 so yes we are taking almost 155.7 or the 8 volts now here in this case this voltmeter will give us the uh, less value uh, as that of the supply voltage okay now this is the difference of these two induced emfs e1 minus e2 so what is the value of the e1 311.2 volts and what is the value of the e2 which is uh, measured by this voltmeter on the secondary windings of the transformer so which is the 155.4 so 311.2 uh, minus 155.4 so we are getting 155.7 volts so which is the difference of these two induced emfs and this uh, volt meter value is less than the applied voltage so th this is the subtractive quality of the transformer so that if the volt meter reads reads the uh, uh, reads less than the value of the applied voltage so here if the the voltmeter reads the value uh, which is less than this applied voltage so the polarity is subtractive and indicates the joint terminals have the same polarity now here in this case the uh, this voltmeter is giving the value which is less than this applied voltage which is the difference of these two induced emfs uh, in the case of the subtractive polarity so uh, this can be called as the subtractive polarity or the same polarity in which the voltmeter will read the difference of the E1 minus E2. So this was the uh, simulation uh, of the uh, MATLAB simulation of the uh, subtractive polarity or the same polarity of the transformer. So now let's discuss the additive polarity or the opposite polarity of the transformer as you can see this is the additive polarity or the opposite polarity circuit diagram uh, of the transformer as you can see now h1 which is the high voltage terminal is connected with the x2 terminal of the secondary side and now here h2 terminal of the primary side is connected with the uh, x1 terminal of the secondary side now in between we have to connect the voltmeter now this voltmeter would give us the uh, sum of the induced emfs now e1 plus e2 and now this voltmeter reading if it is uh, greater than the applied voltage that we are given to the primary winding of the transformer so that will be called as the additive polarity or the opposite polarity now this one is the h1 terminal and the h2 terminal of the primary side of the transformer and this one is the x1 terminal and this is the x2 terminal of the secondary side of the transformer now connect this x2 terminal of the secondary side of the transformer is connected with this h1 terminal of the primary side we are doing the connection as per the circuit diagram of the additive polarity now connect this voltmeter okay in between this x1 terminal and the h2 terminal now okay this is the x1 terminal okay and this is the h2 terminal now see this circuit diagram we have connected this h1 with the x2 and x1 with the h2 in between we have uh, connect the voltmeter which will give us the uh, some of the induced EMFs, the E1 plus E2. Now verify the results. Now connect this voltmeter measurement with this block, and now this will would give us the E1 plus E2. Now these are the same parameters. Okay, 440 volts is our HV winding, 220 volts is our LV winding, and we are given the 440 volts. Now this is the voltmeter. Uh, again, it is connected in parallel across the secondary winding of the transformer which will give us the uh, e2 value so this will be uh, uh, this give us the this voltmeter will give us the e2 value secondary voltage and this will this voltmeter will give us the e1 value and this will this voltmeter which is connected in between the between the h2 terminal and the x1 terminal 
gives us the sum of the E1 plus E2. Run the simulation, observe the results. Now you can see the primary voltage E1 is the 311.2 volts and the secondary voltage is again 155.5 volts. Now this is the opposite polarity of the transformer or the additive polarity. Now if the voltmeter reads the sum of the primary voltage and the secondary voltage, voltage it indicates the join terminals have the opposite uh, polarity. Now you can see here the uh, the H2, uh, the voltmeter which is connected in between the H2 terminal and the X1 terminal has, uh, 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 which will give us the sum of these two induced voltages E1 plus E2. Now here, what is the E1? 311.2 volts, okay. And now what is the value of the E2 over here? You can see uh, 155, so this uh, 150 uh, plus 155.5 volts. You can see the voltmeter which is connected in between the uh, H2 terminal and the X1 terminal. Now here this voltmeter is give us the uh, induced EMF, some of the induced EMFs of the E1 and E2. You can see the E1 is the 311.2 volts plus and E2 induced EMF is the 155.5 volts. So uh, total uh, sum of this E1 and E2 which is uh, uh, given uh, by this voltmeter which is connected in parallel between the H2 terminal of the high voltage side and the X1 terminal of the secondary voltage or the secondary side of the transformer which is the LV1. So it is giving us the sum of this to induce EMF which is the 466.7 volts. So this, uh, this is the simulation of the uh, opposite polarity or the additive polarity of the transformer in which this voltmeter value is higher than the applied voltage value and now this voltmeter value is giving us the sum of the induced EMF of the E1 plus E2 of the transformer. So this is the simulation of the opposite uh, polarity or the additive polarity of the transformer. Dear viewers, this was the simulation regarding the polarity test of the transformer that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the transformer winding when they were connected with the same polarity or the subtractive polarity or the additive polarity or the opposite polarity. So this was the simulation and I hope that you have uh, enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shwebe Madhav for more informative videos related to the simulation and electrical engineering area. Thank you.